just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. I was looking to make sure that Tariq put the garbage out last night. Today is trash day, so probably should put the green waste out, but I don't see that and I'm not gonna go out and grab that anyway. It's on the side yard. I was gonna say, it looks like it's going to rain. It's so weird, you guys. It's supposed to rain next week, Thursday and Friday, which is weird because I thought we were done with the rain. And Savannah has been sick lately. I think it's because of the weather changing and my battery is flashing and I'm not going back in the house to get another battery. I don't vlog when I'm at work anyway, so I should be fine. I'm at work and sorry about this weird angle, but I cannot put the camera up. So you get this weird angle and see all this. Anyway, what was I going to tell you guys? So tonight is a mandatory meeting for the parents of the seniors at Savannah's high school and she gets her cap and gown tonight and she will also get they only give six free tickets so I don't know how it works in other districts but in our district they only give six free tickets and then you have to pay for the rest so when Cheyenne graduated I went all out because I'm like, oh, I know a lot of people have told me they wanted to go to her graduation. So I bought extra tickets and then I had seven people who told me that, oh no, we're going to be there. And at the last minute, oh, what day is it again? Oh no, I won't be able to make that. So I bought seven extra tickets that were 10 bucks a pop. So that's $70 for these seven people who did not show. So I said never again and I didn't do that with Tyreek only bought a few extra I don't know I'm just not buying a bunch of extra tickets because I was burned I was left with other tickets that I basically just gave away because I'm like you know what I'm not gonna just hold on to these someone else can use them so yeah that's the reason why I'm not buying I'm only buying what we need so I'm actually gonna miss Bible study for the next four weeks because there's good reasons for each. Tonight's the meeting. Next week is her final and last choir concert that she has to go to. Of course, she's been in choir since seventh grade. That and then what's happening that third week? The third week is a senior awards night where she gets her tassel because she did community service all four years of high school. So she'll get her tassel that she can wear on graduation day. And then that fourth week, the day after her graduation, we may take a day trip somewhere. I haven't decided if we're going to do that yet. We probably will. So we won't be in town. So yeah, we'll be missing Bible study for this month. And I've already talked to the pastor and the pastor's wife. Let them know. So anyway, you guys, my battery is flashing. It is four minutes until I have to clock in. Actually, I'm just going to clock in right now because um, there's only four minutes and then I'll probably shorten my lunch by four minutes or my day by four minutes. I just want to clock in that way I won't forget. It's so simple, you guys. <laughs> and I told you guys they could play it over this. So I just pulled up the app and I'm in it and I just clocked in. So that's how simple it is. And we also have it in the computers in there. That way they can log in on the clock in on the computers as well. All right, you guys, let's go get these eight hours over with. So I can go home and edit a video because I have not uploaded and edited the video. I have been vlogging, but I haven't ed uploaded a video in like a week and a half. I'm so sorry. Do what you was just doing, Savannah. Show everybody what you was just doing. She was like seriously baby talking like a horrible baby talk. <laughs> yeah, like that, but worse. Y'all, it, well, they could see us because it's going to fall down. 
I know it's so bright. Y'all, it just got real. Look what she has. I am going to cry. Down here. Yes. Down. This is the cap. Look how beautiful this is. My little girl. My, you are literally my little girl. It doesn't even seem real. We had to go tonight to pick up her cap and gown and the, they give six free tickets. I think I told you guys that earlier and I bought five more. So yeah, I'm so excited you guys. It does not even seem real. When I was standing in line um, thinking about everything and looking at the tickets, I literally had to fight back tears. Oh my goodness, Savannah. Look at her y'all. Look at her. <laughs> And it's not even time yet. I shouldn't even show you guys this until it's time for her to actually graduate. We are going to tapioca and tea to get some boba. Y'all, I cannot believe I am about to have three kids who are out of school. Yes, three. How do you feel, Savannah? Tell them what you think. What do you think? What do you think? This is a weird angle. It's probably Kay. ugly. You're never ugly. Like it's ugly. How do you feel? I feel like I have um, 11 days of school. Actually, after today, it's been 10 days of school. <gasps> oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, and I know I have you guys in a super weird angle, but there's a reason for that. Anyway, so I am on my way to work. I'm actually almost there. I'm so excited because with Savannah graduating and everything, my little brother, <laughs> he's not my little brother. Well, he actually is because he's the youngest out of my mom's three. Um, he is coming for Savannah's graduation and he's bringing a surprise with him. And... I'm sure I'll tell you guys about it later. I just can't say anything right now. So yeah, you guys, I'm super excited about that. All right, you guys, so I've made it to work, but that's all I can say about my little brother coming. Um, I always call him my little brother as a joke because he's taller than me and my the middle brother. So yeah, I just think it's cute to call him my little brother. Look, you guys, I woke up with a pimple right there. Right there, the weirdest spots. Anyway, that I say I made it to work and I'm excited because today's Friday. Now that my brother's coming, well, I've been knew he was coming for a while, but it's like definite set, definite dates, stuff like that. So I am determined to get the dining room finished. I bought the last can of paint that I need. I am going to finish painting the walls. And also I bought, you guys know how I did my kitchen cabinets and the ones in my bathroom, I painted white. So I am going to paint the cabinets in the hallway. Um, where we keep the towels and also in my dining room area. So yeah, I just want to get all that taken care of. I mean, he's my brother. He's not going to care, but I don't know. I just want to have that done so he could see what it looks like. I don't know. Just weird. Um, give me something to make me keep going. So yeah. And also you guys, after that, you guys know I am always with projects. So even though the dining room's not going to be done, there is a project that I am going to kind of start. And if I told you guys, you would think I'm totally crazy, but keep looking at the time because I'm gonna have to go in a second. It's 6.56 and I have to clock in at seven. Anyway, I'll talk for maybe another minute or so. So anyway, this pimple is horrible. I keep looking at it. What was I saying? If I told you guys this project that I am going to do, the project itself is not crazy, but the fact that I am going to attempt it, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I've been doing my research as I always do before I paint or before I did my cabinets, you know, so we'll see you guys I'm just like I'm kind of scared because this is something that <laughs> I, I'm just I don't know it's just kind of crazy and I'll let you guys in on it as the time gets closer but I am going to Home Depot today to get a few <laughs> tools oh my gosh you guys I this is so crazy I cannot believe I'm going to attempt to do this but you guys know I do everything on a budget what I can afford to try to make my home nice and so far it's been working so yeah if I can do it I'm going to try and get the keys to the building it's open but 
the employees, we go through a side door. That way we won't have to walk in where the patients are. Okay. All right. Get these five hours out the way so I can go to Home Depot. So I can go to go to home, go home and start painting. Oh, let me turn the volume off of my phone. All right, you guys. So I will see you in a little bit. Let's go to work. So I'm home from work. I did go to Home Depot to get a few items that I'm not gonna show you guys right now. I'm just gonna wait because I'm not starting that project yet. I'm just kind of starting it, if that makes any sense. I wanna do like a tester before I completely like, hey, I can do this and I'll fill you guys in later or as it gets closer to me actually diving into this next project but I am going to finish painting today like I said um, Tariq is home so I'm going to put him to work but right now I need to make a few calls and schedule a few appointments so I'm gonna do that and then we are going to get painting to finish this dining room up well as far as the paint on the walls all right you guys so the dining room is completely done as far as painting the walls Everything is done. It looks so nice. I'm so happy. It has a really good feel in it. And it's still kind of cluttered, but I will show you guys. So all up there is painted and the edges. And there's some imperfections, but if people come in and look up there, then they shouldn't look up there, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. And up there, and I know it's kind of hard to tell the color in the house, but yeah, this area is completely painted. Um, that is just the church equipment that eventually I'm going to find another place for that's not in the dining room. And yeah, these are the blinds that used to be in my kitchen nook area right there. So I need to dispose of these. No place will take them. I can't give them the goodwill. They won't take them. So yeah, I just need to call garbage pickup and put a bunch of stuff to the side of the road. And I don't know if you can tell, but I still have like paint spots that I'm going to have to get up and even on the baseboards right there, but I'm too tired right now. I do not want to do that yet. This just needs to go in a garage and these paintings, I don't know what to do with them. This was Cheyenne's. She loved it when she first got it. Now she doesn't like it too much. And this is my Disneyland puzzle. And this is my aerial poster. And remember I had that in here. So now that I'm changing the look of my dining room, you guys, I do not know where to put this. I just don't know where to put it. And then a while back, I started doing my dining room in Disney and everything wasn't going the way that I planned. And plus I just stopped and I'm like, no, I'm just going to not continue that route. So I have all these things that are Disney and I don't know what to do with it. Maybe I'll do a giveaway, give it away to one of you guys. I don't know, what do you think? Should I? give away these in a giveaway or I don't know but I am not giving this away because Melissa my friend Melissa got this for me from Disneyland I just have to find a place to put it and then this I just got from Walmart but it's so cute there's no way I'm giving that up so yeah I gotta find a place for those so I'm just going to put these um, probably in the shed in the backyard straighten this up a little bit and you guys so I'm going to paint this also like I did my kitchen cabinets because as you can see they're not you know the regular brown color so if you guys remember my kitchen cabinets were the same um, color and I hate this color oak that's just me some people really like it I don't that is going to be painted and I will show you guys so the same kit that I used on my kitchen and in my bathroom and in the kids bathroom it's called cabinet transformation and this is the light kit this kind is french cream now i don't know if i'm going to use the glaze and make it darker or keep it light i will see once i get it on there but yes this is going to be painted as well but not today and i'm also going to paint the linen closet in the hallway yeah you guys i just gotta straighten this out but 
as far as the painting of the walls it is done good morning everyone it is saturday and if you're wondering why i have a face mask on i kind of sort of started a project in my room and i was going to test it out but either i had to abandon ship or go for it and I decided to go for it and I won't show you guys right now because honestly I don't know what the outcome is going to be I did do my research but I don't know you guys this is more work than what I thought um, so yeah that's what I'm doing today and if for some reason I can finish it up to show you guys I will so with that said Let's get back to work. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is much later. I don't even know the time, but I have been working in this bathroom like mostly all morning, all morning, and then some of the afternoon. Um, I wanna show you guys, but I don't because I'm afraid of it not coming out the way it should be. I guess I should have been afraid before I started it, but Mm, kind of too late for that now so yeah we'll see look at this pimple you guys this is horrible and yes I picked at it anyway so yeah we'll see what the outcome is I may not show you guys right away I may wait till it's fully completed I don't know but yeah this is I think I bit off more than I can chew no I take that back I can do it but it's just a big job it's a back breaking job the job is for a man. Look at this. Y'all, I am making a mess. Okay, so the lighting is not very good right here, but the reason why I have paint on my face is because you guys know, maybe like two, maybe three years ago, I painted my bathroom cabinets white. Well, the kit that I use, it comes with a protective glaze coating. It tells you on the instructions, don't use too much of the glaze, especially on the lighter colors because it will give off a yellowish tint to it. I knew this when I put it on, but because I could not see the glaze, duh, Michelle, is clear. Um, after it dried, maybe like a week later, it started getting a yellowish tint to it. I always said I would go back and paint over it and apply the protective glaze again and I just never did but because I'm doing what I'm doing in my room I am looking at the cabinets I'm like they look yellow-ish and I don't want that so that's the reason why I'm full of paint and yeah I'm about to get in the shower I have not left my room really all day today because I actually shouldn't have started this job you guys I need to finish the dining room first I'm going back and forth but it's fun <laughs> 